If you want to know the best romance TV shows, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of the 2010s. I thought we could do butt stuff tonight. Fantastic! Yeah, for sure. We don't have to, if you don't want to. I mean, I could be fine. Just... We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good TV show again. Number 10. Modern Love 2019. I like mine firm and juicy. And no bruises. So what are you looking for? I had a hankering for a fruit salad, but um, not pre-prepared. Modern Love is a romantic comedy anthology television series created by John Carney. It is based on the weekly column published by the New York Times that explores the various lives of people around the city with all their complexity, struggles, hopes, and fears. The show thereby attempts to explore love in all its forms by showing us sides of sexuality, romance, platonic, even self-love, resulting in an experience that is as beautiful as the lesson of life itself. I just met you. You go on a date with me. Right, but a date is dinner. Breakfast is it's intimate, it's different. Breakfast is like bedhead and tired and gloopy. It's and... no makeup, bright lights, and go hideously wrong. Mm, so for dinner. That's what alcohol's for. <laughs> Number nine. Masters of Sex 2013. They're going to stare up at the bedroom ceiling and they're going to realize that if size doesn't matter, something else does. Masters of Sex is a period drama television series created by Michelle Ashford. Just like the title tells us, Masters of Sex follows the relationship between two researchers and pioneers for human sexuality at Washington University in St. Louis. William Masters and Virginia Johnson go on a journey of biological as well as emotional exploration, as their passion is placed between the objective exploration of sex and the emotional side of sex. Because it may, in fact, throw off my data. Why would it throw off your data? Isn't an orgasm an orgasm? That is one of the many questions I hope to answer. But as she is my only subject, it really means I have no choice, whatever. Her orientation, so are you interested in the job or not? Number 8. A Discovery of Witches, 2018. You craved me all this time. And you resisted. A Discovery of Witches is a fantasy romance television series created by Jane Tranter. Diana Bishop, a historian and reluctant witch, unexpectedly discovers a manuscript in Oxford's library that seems to be supernatural. When forced back into the world of magic in order to reveal the secrets the manuscript may hold about magical beings, she is offered help by a mysterious geneticist and eventually vampire. What follows is not only a great and adventurous journey, but the love story of two people who couldn't be more different. <laughs> it's time. Number 7. You're the Worst, 2014. What are you wearing? Just a little something fun and flirty. You like? Yeah, I bet you do. You're the Worst is a single-camera comedy-drama television series created by Stephen Falk. When protagonists Jimmy and Gretchen meet at the wedding of Becca and Vernon Barbara, Jimmy is convinced that he was only invited because he once loved the bride and is now being made fun of. Over the course of the show, we learn that the families gathering around this wedding are struggling, hypocritical, and quite often rather unconventional. But they all have one thing in common, general despite and mistrust. You got a whole mess of cocaine! Oh yeah, because you love cocaine, right? Yes, I do! <laughs> it's my shit! <laughs> cool, let's add cocaine to the butt stuff. Number 6. Looking, 2014. Wait, why were you at his house so early in the morning? Because he, uh, he stayed over. L like in your bed? Yeah. Looking is a comedy-drama television series created by Michael Lannon. As we follow Patrick Murray, a 29-year-old video game designer, we learn that he is rather unhappy, still naive, and dramatically unlucky in love. But after meeting handsome yet humble mission barber Richie and his new boss Kevin, things seem to finally take a turn. Together, the three men navigate through life, relationships, family, and modern careers in the city of San Francisco. I called you, Patrick. You never picked up. I know. I'm sorry. I just... I've left John. What? I'm calling 
completely fucking in love with you. Number five. Poldark, 2015. I didn't take you from your father for this. What do it matter what you took me for? Go to bed. Sir. Go to bed now. Poldark is a historical drama television series created by Debbie Horsfield. In 1783, Captain Ross Venner Poldark returns from the American War of Independence to his home of Nampara in Cornwall after several years in the army. Depicting the horror of returning to a once-loved home that is just a shadow of its former self, Poldark follows protagonist Ross as he must face the many obstacles that cross his path, the death of loved ones, loved ones that went on in his absence, and a dying family business. I shouldn't have spoken so harshly. <laughs> Don't take it to heart. It's been a hellish day, and I'm not myself. Number four. Please Like Me, 2013. I'm gay. Oh, cool. Please Like Me is a comedy drama television series created by Josh Thomas. The ordered life of protagonist Josh seems to have it all until his girlfriend dumps him for being gay, which he hasn't realized until now. Thrown into a chaotic life, which is new for him, he must accept that the world has new troubles presented for him as a single trying to find meaning for his seemingly meaningless life, depicted in hilarious yet sensitive storytelling. Do you mind sleep over? I don't think you really have anywhere. Oh, you just got a, a pretty big bed. I could just crush that. Number three. Outlander, 2014. I wanted you from the first moment I saw you, but I loved you when you wept in my arms that first night of Lioch. Outlander is a historical drama television series created by Ronald D. Moore. This extravagant depiction of older times jumps between the horrifying depiction of World War II and the Scottish conflict in the 18th century. When a married World War II nurse accidentally time travels back to 1743 Scotland, she encounters the dashing Highland warrior, Jamie Fraser, and can't help but fall deeply in love with him. Now literally torn apart between two homes set in completely different times, she must make a decision. We're sleeping here. Why? Well, the tap room's full of times when half gone me drink. I was worried some of them might venture up here in search of, well, I didn't think you'd care over much for such attentions. Number two. Downton Abbey, 2010. Did you have a happy time yesterday? Showed Lavinia the places I liked most. Give her a few memories. Downton Abbey is a historical drama television series created by Julian Fellows. This critically acclaimed fan favorite show is set in the fictional Yorkshire country estate of Downton Abbey between 1912 and 1926. Depicting the lives of the aristocratic Crawley family and their domestic servants, we become witness of day-to-day -day family struggles, but also the complications of being part of the high, or not-so-high, society. Heartwarming and truly beautiful, Downton Abbey is still one of a kind. Mary, if I don't come back, no, if I don't, then do remember how very glad I am that we made up when we had the chance. I mean it. You sent me off to war a happy man. Before we unveil TV show number one, here are some honorable mentions. Next Thursday. Are you asking me on a date? Is that a yes? I don't know. Let me see that junk shot first. Oh my god. I totally thought that was going to sound flirty, but it came out creepy. It came out really sexy, if you ask me. That'll be 2.35. Dude, I don't have my wallet. Can I pay you back later? You see, isn't a charity. I mean, you know me, dude. I'm good for it. I'll come right back. Hey, you know what? I got this. Okay. And a pack of cigarettes? You sound apologetic, like you're embarrassed to be a good girl, and you murmur your first word to me. Hello. Do you work here? Guilty. Can I help you find something? Paula Fox? Number one. This is us, 2016. I am in love with you, Jack. You are? This Is Us is a comedy drama television series created by Dan Fogelman. This is the story of a family's generation dramas, 
following them through love and acceptance, but also discouragement and depression. While revelations emerge from parents Jack and Rebecca's past, their triplets have their own struggles with standing in life. While successful businessman Randall is trying to find out more information about his biological parents, his sister Kate learns to grow into an independent and strong woman, and his brother Kevin pursues a more meaningful career. But I like talking to you. A lot. You make me feel like I'm home. And I've and never really felt like that before. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular TV show in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 TV show videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.